Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 's holding the pillbox this is commando on the Amstrad CPC released by elite in 1986 obviously based on an arcade machine of the same name released by Capcom in 1985 there's a balls horrifically hard top-down run and gun shooter played at that arcade I always talk about in Westwood Ho, it was next to double dragon so whenever I play it I always think of fish and chips I remember seeing it in your Sinclair and with the smallest review ever like four paragraphs and it got five stars and we got it as kids and we absolutely love it i uh, loved it uh, and um i have a gameplay of it many gameplays of it i've you know compared it directly to the commodore 64 version and the spectrum version is absolutely fantastic the commodore 64 version is absolutely fantastic and as a spectrum fanboy i can admit it is better than the spectrum version but i just prefer the spectrum version i have no well I have an idea because I went into the game just to make sure the keys worked and I was quite surprised, shocked, I might go as far to say. This has got title screen music by the way. Because when you look at this screen here you think this is going to be a port of the ZX Spectrum version and I would be alright with that because for such an early game on the Spectrum, well it's not really early, it's four years isn't it? Um, or is it 1985? Anyway, it looks fantastic, it plays fantastic, there is colour class but there's so much stuff going on so if this was a port of the Spectrum version I would be fine. So anyway, joystick, no, K to redefine keys, redefine keys, right, we're going to have to go with W up, um, don't ask me why you have track games, pick and choose what keys I can use, S down, um, I left, O right, N fire, X grenade, definitely not keys of champions, but in the ballpark, right, S to start game, right, I'm the green bloke, hold down, oh no, on the spectrum you would hold it down, right, it's very colourful, it's very colourful. It's very fast. It looks like Commando. Dare I say, I think the Spectrum version looks better. I know, I know. You're going to say, but you're a Spectrum fanboy. It just does. See, the Commodore 64 version resembles the arcade. This lets you know, and I said it's the Spectrum version. This lets you know what game you're playing. Hey, at least we have proper scrolling. But, it doesn't really resemble the arcade, does it? It probably more resembles Who Dares Wins, the micro game. How do we, oh, you got a cat, don't shoot the green bloke, he's one of your buddies that we've just left behind. I am very, very thankful that we have a secondary button for grenades, and it, it works out really quite well. Oh shit, I'm dead. Um, the controls are super tight, and the graphics aren't terrible. A little bit slow down. I hate the bridge because you can't see who's shooting you or how to well what's shooting you or how to avoid the bullets. Right, can I That's not aimed at him, that's aimed at the people under the bridge, which worked. So I'll take that. Yeah, it's good. Do you know what? It's good. It just doesn't look bugger all like the arcade game. The music's getting on my tits, but we have sound effects and music, so I can live with that. We have the worst loading screen I've ever seen so far on the games I've played on the Amstrad, but do you know what? I'm sure there are worse. It is Commander. Can I get by it? its looks? Maybe, maybe that's because we've just been so super spoiled by the Spectrum version and the Commodore 64 version. The Amiga version is damn near arcade perfect. I might have to try the Atari ST version at some point. Those blocks are obviously grenades, not Lego. Duplo, if you will. Roblox, knock off Lego. To the uninitiated. That music is awful. Right, shoot everyone that comes out. I do like the sense of urgency the music has now given us. What shot me? Did he just burn in flame? 
incendiary. Are oh, they all burning in flames? Oh, so I sound disappointed. Oh, let's just, you know, everyone's got a horrible death. I wanted that we selected death that only were horrible. Oh, I'm going to hit your face because of course I have. Right. Oh, fuck. I don't think you're going to see much. To be fair, this is brutally hard on every version. But I'm finding it particularly hard on this. At least you can actually see the bullets in this. I've played a lot of games so far on the Amstrad, but I can't see the fucking bullets. No! Oh, that was on me. Doesn't give you any invulnerability when you start. Oh, it did? Or did I just magically morph for a bullet? I'll take it. So you always think, I'm just going to stand at the bottom and lob nades at you, and then I'm going to clear a path for freedom! And it doesn't work, because look at this little bastard down there. I guess the way to do it is run in a circle. No, no, it's not. <laughs> It's a shame this isn't a trainer, because you're not going to see any of this. Right. Fuck it! These controls, the diagonals aren't working for me. I might have to try it on... If I try it on joystick, then the grenade's going to have to be a hold down, isn't it? I curse you and your non fiery death of pain. See, when they all start flickering and shit like that, which is normally the preserve of the spectrum and not this, I kind of... Oh, they hide the bullets. I know, excuses. Oh! Look at Grenade Boy here! Wait, that was really underwhelming. They suddenly all just died at once. Broke error. No, what was it? Five stages? It's going to be a Jeep now that basically looks like a Rubik's Cube. I don't know that before. For sure. Yeah. Hey, you can't kill the vehicles. And they are coming from behind. Which is alright in Commando, but not fun if you're in prison. Shit! Have I got infinite lives? I'm not going to complain if I have, to be fair. Fuck! No! Hey, this bit's cool, though. It's on the spectrum. Which I would say is far more forgiving than this. Hey! It's... it's Commander. You've got Commander. You know, so there you go. It plays all right, apart from your diagonals seem a little bit squiggly, and it's a bit difficult to see the bullets when there's those blokes on the screen, which you could argue is the fault of the spectrum, is, or, or a fault of the spectrum version as well. But I, I don't know. I just don't think it's as good as either other version. I don't want to sound like a spectrum fanboy, but to be fair, I'm saying the Commodore version is better than this, so I'm not really sounding like a spectrum fanboy. I'm sounding like both fanboys. That's a new one for me. Hey. Might be not as difficult, but it's in the arcade as well. If you didn't have a range on your bullets. See? I mean, it's unique and it's a nice effect. Oh. But the second level, I don't remember. I got stuck on the tree. Bollocks. I almost saved Chuck Norris. Could have been on my side we could have tagged and share we would have fucking beat the entire game in 13 seconds and that's minus i say you do that bit so how many guys have i got again i'm not going to complain you can aid to super you can aid to super precise on every version to be fair The music's getting on my tits. I mean, it's making things intense in all the wrong ways. It's making me fucking tense for aspirin. See what I mean? The flicker then. Like, who the fuck is shooting what at me? I can't tell. 
and my hand is cramping like a claw. Right, slowly, softly, edge forwards. I just worked out he's telling me everything I have at the top of the screen and I chose to ignore it because I'm a badass one man fucking army. Oh! Look at that range on their grenades, mine! I would say that's not fair. But war's not really fair anyway, either. I'm out of grenades. See, when you, you lose... Well, I wouldn't say your tactic, you're way aware, but... Control like that, and they just spread out, you're fucked. And then you can't see the bullets. To be fair, you wouldn't be able to see all dodge the bullets in real life, so we could just say, this is accurate now, we'll all be quiet. Don't know what reviews this got. Oh, was he dying? Hey, see? No, I was going to say, it seems to be there's an act to it, but no, there isn't. I just got fucking lucky. Yeah, this is all you're going to see. Right, you sound like Yaya Kung Fu more than you sound like Commando. Oh, no! Yeah, more like Yaya Kung Fu than you sound like fucking Commando. Oh, and they've got inf... Oh! Where's the Green Cross Code Man when you need him? Yeah, they've got infinite range on their bullets. Look. And then you got to worry about them coming from behind. See previous joke. I do like that effect. The crate is not the death. Or um, the death effect is growing on me. Ooh. Did it change music? It's still shit. Oh, you can... F <sighs> you can fall in the holes. Because of course you can. If you don't remember to move straight away, cheap death. That's it. Can't take any more. It's brutally hard. It's harder than the Spectrum and it's harder than the Commodore 64. I will say that. And it doesn't control quite as well as either of those. And it doesn't look as good as either of those. But it doesn't look terrible. And you can tell it's Commando. And this was the only way to play Commando and you loved it in the arcade. So I guess you would have been happy. Although I personally would have gone on my mate's house and played his Spectrum version. Or my mate's nemesis house and played the Commodore 64 version. Anyway, it's always a love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.